Hey everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Inks Laura 123 and this is going to be a spend the day with me vlog. So, hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share. Please subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Oh, and don't forget to smash that notification bell to all notifications. Then you can see when I've uploaded new videos and also when I'm doing live streams. So, today is Thursday. I'm just about to get in the shower. I have a mission this morning. Um last night very upset about this so there we go basically i left my glasses on the table normally whenever i take my glasses off and i've been reading or what have you um, i put them back in their case you know look after them but for some reason i put them on the table cut a long story short they fell off the table onto the floor and broke yeah the arms fell off um i was like no now i do have a spare pair of glasses which i have but I like having two. I like having one that I keep in the house at all times, never go out. Um, and one pair that I take out if I go to work or if I'm going to the library to read or, you know, if I'm going to Starbucks to have a coffee and read. You know, I like taking them out, basically. Anyhow, so I'm very upset about it. They can't be fixed by us. Like, sometimes if they get a bit loose, we've got, like, a mini screwdriver and Nathan kind of, you know, it's come off. It can't be fixed just like that. It needs work on it. Um, if it can be fixed at all, I might have to get new frames. I don't know. I hope not because that's going to cost me a hell of a lot compared to just, you know, the guy fixing it. So, yeah, in uh, Hamlet Court Road, there is a guy who's been there absolutely years. Lovely, lovely man. And it's like a family run business and they fix glasses and they do lenses and things like that. So um, basically a glasses shop. And he's really good at repairs. He's fixed my glasses in the past and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to go down there. They open at 10. So I want to get there at like 10 on the dot, like I'm just there. But then that looks a bit weird. So I'm going to try and give it like five, 10 minutes. But, um, you know, so I don't want them to like open the door. And I'm just like, hey. Um, but, yeah, hopefully he can fix them. And if not, hopefully he'll have frames that will fit my glass. You know, anyway. <sighs> I'm so stressed about this. Honestly, if you've got glasses... You'll understand maybe why I'm so stressed about this kind of thing. Because I rely on my glasses for everything I do. As I say, you know, reading, watching TV, laptop, etc. So that is the mission. Get ready. Get down there. Hopefully he'll fix them. Um, so, yeah. Mm. So other things happening today. New episode of Ghost Adventures is on. Very excited for that. My favourite show. Me and Nathan watch that. Um, on Discovery Plus, so looking forward to that. It's supposed to be in like a really haunted theatre, which is actually one of my favourite places. Whenever I watch these ghost shows, one of my favourite places that they can investigate is a theatre. I just, I love it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. I haven't got any editing to do today, which is a miracle, because uh, I didn't film yesterday. I didn't film yesterday because I wanted to have a day of just me and Nathan without vlogging. We had a bit of a kind of date day and I tell you what it was absolutely amazing it's really lovely and romantic and sweet and just it's really nice so we went to the park we were there for like three hours um and we hadn't been to this park for ages so it's kind of like going for the first time I know that sounds weird like I've been going to this park since I was a little girl but every time you go there you see something else you notice something else you take take it all in differently um and there were so many animals there like so much like obviously it's this time of year because, like, there's acorns everywhere and, and stuff. Like, you know, all the animals are out and stuff. But, oh, my God, so many squirrels. I've never seen so many squirrels. And some of these squirrels come really close to us. Like, it was really cute. I've got some lovely photos, like, close-up close up squirrel photo. Um, we saw, obviously, different birds. We, we saw the ducks. We fed the ducks. That was so cute. Um, basically, we took with some bread to feed the ducks. Because I'm a big kid and like feeding the duck, <laughs> ducks. Um, but when we get there, right, there's a sign that says don't feed the duck ducks bread. Apparently it's not good for them. And so I was like, oh, okay. So I had to pop that in the bin. They do have a list of other things like you can feed the ducks, rice and things like that, but just not bread. Um, however, when we went in the little gift shop there at the park, um, they had a little box of uh, duck food. Oh, so cute. So like one pound fifty, and you get this box and. I was like, I'm getting it. This way I can still feed the ducks. So, yeah, we got that. We went and fed them. And it was so cute. Like, there were big ducks. There were baby ducks. There were just ducks everywhere. And we were feeding them. And it was so sweet. So, yeah, we saw that. Um, we also saw a rat. Or a couple of rats, actually. <laughs> now, I used to be really freaked out by rats. But now I'm like, oh, they're really cute, actually. They've got cute little faces. Um, but, yeah, sadly, though, I did see a few dead animals, which was quite... Ooh didn't expect that there was this um dead hedgehog laid out and a dead bird with no head 
Hmm. So I don't know what happened there. Um, very sad to see that. But yeah, I mean, it, beautiful park, absolutely lovely time. And we walked around for, as I say, hours and took some lovely photos. And so, yeah, it's just really nice. But yeah, I didn't want to film yesterday because I do like vlogging as much as I can for you um, on this channel and stuff. But like some days I just don't want to. I just want a day of where it's just me or, you know, do my own thing really without, you know, filming everything. Anyhow, I'm rambling, sorry. Um... But yeah, I, I do want to try and do some filming today. Um, I do want to do some reading. I'm nearly finished my book. I'm reading a fantastic book by Erin Sterling called The X Hex. So good. I'll tell you about it later on and show you. And really, really good news is it's a series and I've got number two lined up to read next. So as soon as I finish this one, I'll go straight on to number two. So that's good. I'm really enjoying these books. Um, I like these books lately. I've had a few books last month that were rubbish and I just DNF'd, didn't enjoy. But so far this month, I've enjoyed every book. So I'm quite happy with how my, my books have been going recently. Anyhow, in the shower, get ready. Hopefully, fingers crossed, get these glasses fixed. Just in my garden, I wanted to show you something really quickly. One of my lovely viewers sent me this. This was uh, something that I had on my throne wish list and she got it for me and it's really cool and I want to show you. <laughs> I love this. Thank you so much. This is awesome. On our tree. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you. <laughs> well, yes, I do have a throne wish list if you care to spoil me and treat me. The link is down below. Look how long my fringe is. It's like... <laughs> I need to cut it today. It's got to be done. Anyway, I'm going for the emo look. The emo long fringe. <laughs> um, oh wow, this has uh, got bigger. Look at this. It's a little Hamlet Court Road community garden. Built by residents for all to enjoy. Everything's like coming up. I can see some nice sunflowers there at the back. <laughs> anyway, just trying to rush. I'm about 10 minutes late than I wanted to be leaving the house. <sighs> but there it is. I'm always late, literally. I'm <laughs> just always late. Um, but yeah, so in a way, it's not a bad thing because it'll give them a chance to open and get settled. I just hope they can fix them. I've got my glasses with me. So, we'll see. <sighs> so, I don't know what I'm doing the rest of the morning. Mum and Nathan are working from home today. Normally, I have, like, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to myself. So, I either go out or I stay in, do my thing, work, you know. But they're both working from home uh, the rest of the week because... Today, we are waiting for the dishwasher repairman to come round. Um, our dishwasher has been playing up for a little while now, to be fair. And my mum was like, oh, I'll ring it up, I'll ring it up. And then she just forgets. Or it'll work again and she'll be like, oh, it's all right now, I'll leave it. <laughs> We're like, no, you can't leave it because there's still, you know, it's bits of dirt. Like the, the plates aren't washing or the cups aren't washing. Oh, it's all right. So obviously everything's in her name, all the insurances, so she has to be the one to do it. Anyway, it wasn't filling up properly and she was like, do you know what? I'm going to ring up, get it sorted. It's like, <laughs> so yeah, they're coming um, today. They're supposed to be there between 10 and 12, but these kind of things, you never know, they can always be later. So she's like, there's no point in them going in the office because uh, she wants to be there when the repair guy comes around and not leaving with me so I was like okay so yeah Nathan's working in our bedroom bless him sitting on the bed with a laptop <laughs> perched up with some pillars behind him and mum's downstairs so yeah I'm like you know there's nothing really I can't really do much at home I'm gonna try and keep out for a little while even if I have a little walk somewhere or something I don't know I mean I've got some shows I can watch uh, so I could sit on my mum's bed and watch some TV but it's not very comfortable her bed is so soft, it's like a sponge uh, I've got Married at First Sight from last night, oh I forgot to have my asthma pump that's because I'm rushing around, I had all my pills and <laughs> I love it when I get in um, I've got my 
I've rest my pump on me anyway. But, um, yeah, I've got Married at First Sight's watch, and I've got your face on mine. So, I mean, I could sit on her bed while he's working in our room and stuff, um, or I could just, as I say, go out for a bit, try and, you know, keep out the house, have some Laura time outdoors, I suppose. Um, I've took like a little buttered roll in my bag, wrapped up, and I've got a little Kinder Egg chocolate. <laughs> so if I'm out and about and I get a bit peckish, because I haven't had any breakfast or anything, so I thought I could just, you know, have something on me if I need need be. Um, so yeah, that's today. And then tomorrow, Nathan's working from home because. Mum's got to go like day off because she's got um, a hospital appointment and stuff tomorrow. So I think the first one's like 11-ish. So she said once again, there's no point in going in the office to come out again and go back and go out. So yeah, it's going to be weird not having a house to myself for a few days. I don't know, I think I like, like my own space sometimes. I think we all do, you know. And, uh, you know, I've got to do all the housework tomorrow. So... They will have to see me <laughs> as Mrs. Mop going around cleaning and tidying. Normally I have all my music on whilst I do the housework on my Spotify or I'll have my, my uh, story on Audible playing. So I did say that to him. I was like, whenever I do the housework and you want to hear, I always have my music playing. He's like, that's all right. I don't know if he'll say that once the Spice Girls start playing and all my boy bands. <laughs> Come on, green man. There we go. There we go. This be Hamlet Court Road. Very old road, this. When you look at all the history of this area. I mean, I used to come when I was a little girl. I mean, the shops have changed so much. <laughs> when I was a little girl, I used to come with my grandma. They used to be around, I don't know if it was one of these shops. They used to be um, a tap dance shoe shop. And my, my grandma used to try and get me into tap dancing. <laughs> it's very bizarre. And she used to take me in there getting these tap dance shoes. <laughs> They've gone now, replaced with like a nail salon or whatever. This is where my mum gets our carpets and rugs from. She's going to be getting new carpet actually in the hallway. To be fair, I don't think there's anything wrong with the carpet in the hallway. And she's like, oh no, I need new carpet. Start to look a bit worn. I was like, does it? Okay. And she's not even getting like a different colour. She's literally just going for the same one. I was like, okay. If it makes her happy, it can't be that bad. <laughs> so yeah, she's getting new carpet. I think the guy's coming around the weekend to have a measurements and stuff done, but I don't know. <sighs> it's not that busy. Mind you, it's quite early. Still a few people out and about. Post box. I always show the post boxes because I know a lot of my viewers, especially ones in America, like looking at the post boxes here in the UK. It's like a double post box. Big big boy. Okay. Oh, Greg's. I've got to go in there. Nathan wanted me to get him some, uh, what's it called? Sausage rolls. Sausage. I might as well get them now. And then they're nice and fresh. They've got one packet, but they might have some fresh ones. Yes, they have. Got Nathan his sausage rolls. He's looking at this painting in the window of a charity shop. How cool is that? I love, I love art. I wish I was good at it, but I'm not. <laughs> I like the way they've gone with like this blue colour theme in the window. Very cool. Even the mannequins wearing blue. She's all blued out. This is going to be opening up soon. New bar. Not that I'm going to go in there. I don't go to bars anymore. Pubs. I don't go to bars, pubs, clubs. <laughs> the last time I went to a, like a pub was... Um, oh, actually, no, I went recently because Nathan's mum's got married. And uh, she had the reception at this pub. Oh, wow, what's that? I just saw something. 12 quid? Oh, my. 
So what's his name? Edward from Twilight Model. But £12? Seems a bit steep. Spider-Man there. Can't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, so she had her um, reception in a like an old worldly kind of pub. I did vlog it and showed the pub actually. It's pretty cool. Oh wow, what's that? Isla's. Isla? Isla's? Oh, another restaurant. So what they put in Hamlet Court Road these days? Restaurants. Restaurants and nail bars. I do like that lilac and purpley kind of colour. Got to cross over here anyway, because the shop I need is this side of the road. Yeah, I like the colour in it, it looks cool. I don't know what type of restaurant. They don't have much luck in here to be fair. Oh, I like the flowers, they're nice on the thing. Um, yeah, they don't have uh, much luck in there. Like, honestly, over the years, the amount of restaurants that have been there and just shut down, and no one knows why. Yeah, hopefully uh, that one will do better. We'll see. We'll see. It used to be a florist here, now it's a security place. Oh, that was there for years, that little florist. But yeah, back in the day I was always pubbing and clubbing. Now, nah. I was either sitting with my book, a cup of hot chocolate, <laughs> like a boring old cow. But no, I just, you know, I think, I think you change, don't you? As you grow older, you like different things. And, you know, I think for me, Back in the day, I, you know, embraced it. I really enjoyed going out and partying and being a wild party girl. And it felt like I was never at home. I was always out. My mum used to say, do you not stay in? I was like, no, I'm going out again. You know, but my dad used to sort of say to me, you know, it's time you start growing up, Laura. And start, you know, settling down. And I was like, no, I just want to go out partying. So there we go. But yeah, when I was ready and you know met Nathan and stuff I decided to settle down and just not not really do the clubbing and you know partying thing it's kind of, I think I'd got bored of it I don't have so many years there's only so many times you can party and dance and you know so I, I definitely prefer my lifestyle now I'm more me definitely this is when Nathan got his suit suits suits you sir yeah nice nice shopping it's really big you can see in there We've got a lovely suit that you wore for the wedding in there. Nearly there. It's just down the bottom there. Oh, I hope they can fix them. Mm. Okay. It's pretty. Very pretty hanging basket there. Big hanging basket actually. Oh look, there's some more. Very nice. Pretty. I like that little spooky display they've done here for Halloween. <laughs> they were looking at me from the window like, what are you doing? I'm vlogging, don't you know? Okay, right. Smart vision. Click. Oh no, they're closed. Why are they closed? No. What's that? We'll be closed from 3 p.m. on Tuesday the 11th. Oh, they're not open again until the 21st of October. Oh no. I could cry, seriously. Oh, 21st, that's bloody ages away. So I've only got one pair of glasses. Ugh. It's really annoyed me. And there's nowhere else to go. Nowhere else to go to fix them. I'm gonna have to try wrapping sellotape around them. That's the only thing I can do, which is annoying and they're going to keep falling off, but... Oh, that's really noisy over there. Oh. Okay, so, I've just tried another opticians because I thought they might be able to fix them in some way. Um, even if I have to have new frames and put those, you know, lenses in new frames, but they can do it, but I'd have to send it away, I'd have to wait a week, and I was like, nah. So, I rang Nathan, stressing, I was like, I can't get my glasses done. And he suggested for now, just for now, until like next week, um, that I go to Hobbycraft and get some really strong, uh, what's it called, duct tape. And uh, he's going to kind of <laughs> do a bodge job of fixing them. So, that is the plan. Oh. I was just about to look in the charity shops and I stopped myself because I've already gone over my limit this week of charity shopping money. Um, 
so yeah sorry i'm gonna go to hobbycraft now by the way and try and get some duct tape um yeah i uh i have like a limit of 40 quid a week that i spend on ebay so i know what i've spent and then i know you know when things sold if i've made profit or a loss or the same um so yeah i can't look in any charity shops and i'm in charity shop central down here in hamlet court road but i can't go in any which sucks but yeah i don't know so ow i tripped over my necklace has gone all twisted hold on <laughs> there we go um so the plan of action is yeah i'm gonna walk up to there but i do need to take a library book back so even though it's a bit of an extra walk i might nip home grab my book i need to take back and then walk up to uh to hobby craft and stuff and then i might just go have a drink in starbucks or something i don't know i'm just trying to trying to kill some time because like it's a bit awkward you know nathan's trying to work in our room and i i know if i sit in there with him i won't be able to keep quiet i'll be chatting and stuff and putting him off work and it's not good so and as i say yes i could sit on mum's bed and watch some tv but it's uncomfortable in there I don't think I could sit on there for hours. Like, it's alright watching the odd show. But, uh, So, I think, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Head home. It's all extra exercise, though, isn't it? It's all extra walking. <laughs> walking is... And actually, what I can do is uh, leave my glasses at home. And then they're safe. I don't want to be walking around and risk losing them. So, that's probably a good idea that I go home first. I've done all the uh, Halloween decorations in my West Calf that I go in. Loving that, it's pretty cool. <laughs> they do a lovely coffee in there. Nice cappuccino. I've been in there for ages, actually. Um, so, yeah, all extra exercise. I mean, I've been getting a lot of walking exercise last few days. <laughs> and we did a lot of walking today. And then yesterday, we was walking the park, as I say, for three hours solid. We didn't sit down just walked it's so nice though i know i've already said about it but it, it just was so lovely just to spend time with nathan just me and him you know coupley holding hands like it was just romantic it was cute it was cute there's a bus okay so yeah i'm gonna be uh walking a lot again today it's all good though, it's good exercise, fresh air. Oh, so yeah, I'll see you in a bit. I'll uh, I'll show you in hobby craft. I'll have a look in hobby craft while I'm there. I don't want to buy stuff though because I'm naughty. I go in for one thing and come out with like 10 things, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that's the best place. Like, there was a little DIY shop in Hamlet Court Road that's been there like years, but. I don't be nasty, but the stuff is quite, you know, ancient stuff, you know. Well, at least your hobby craft, they're going to do the decent, good branded stuff. So, I'll try in there, wrap it round, and hopefully, you know, they'll be like that. And uh, I won't be able to put them in their case, though, which is annoying. So, I'm going to have to find somewhere to keep them safely. Because, obviously, if they're stuck like that with a tape round it I won't be able to um, fold them up again to put in the case but that's the least of my worries the main thing is I get to wear them again and hope they'll be okay right I'll see you in a bit all right so I'm just gonna head in hobby craft get some duct tape I keep calling it duct tape as in quackers but it's duct tape <laughs> just having a look at the little Halloween display i'm not buying anything i'm being a good girl with my money but i can still look at halloween stuff Yeah, 
So I've got a fear of the escalators, so I have to walk down all the stairs. More exercise though, I suppose. Down the stairs. So, I've managed to get a few bits and pieces. I've got um, my cheese salad, pasta salad in Poundland. I got some paracetamol in boots and I got the duct tape in Wilco's. Got like rainbow coloured one, so my hair is just sticking up, I don't know what's happening. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I got some duct tape. Um, so Nathan's going to try and fix my glasses when I get in. Um, and then, what else? Uh, oh, yeah, now I'm heading into Wilco because I need to get um, some clear nail polish and some nail strengthener. So I'm hoping I can find it. Um, I did look in Poundland, but it wasn't that great. Hold on, I wonder if it's around here. All right, okay, lady has pointed me over here. These are the Sally, uh, Sally? Sally Hansen ones. There's all different ones though. How do you know what one to use? Uh, so many different ones, I'm like, what? What is this? Face coat, top coat, growth, strengthener, ridge, filler, brightener, moisturising. Hmm. Like a seven in one. I mean, that does sound good. Because all these are like, I don't know. I want them to basically to grow and to be thicker. Now rehab. They try to make me go to now rehab. I say, no. Oh, hold on. Maximum growth. What's this one? Hmm help to grow and strengthen nails okay that is true but, oh i see look duh strengthen and restore lasting color lengthen hmm this is maximum so that is 5.99 and this one was like a tenner so hmm. but then again yes this one strength strengthens but it does all the other stuff as well I like the fact that it brightens and moisturizes or uh, i don't know this is so infused with triple protein and silk. Our formula helps to defend against breakage, prove your nails so they can grow. The results visibly longer and stronger nails in just one week. Apply one coat to bare nails, use a loner as a base coat. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. I mean, that one does sound amazing, but this is cheaper and I could be careful for my money at the moment. Oh, my nails look disgusting. Ignore those. Um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna get this. I really need to do my nails. I just, oh, maybe we can. Do Sorry, my phone update come on just as I was talking. What I was saying is maybe we can do this today. I'm going to show you what that noise is in a second. Yeah, I'm going to take all the nail polish off and then give them a bit of a file and then put this stuff on. So we'll do that later. <laughs> That's what was making the noise. The creepy Halloween butler skeletons. <laughs> Just having a little look at Wilco's Halloween stuff. I was looking here the other day, they didn't have that much. So I don't know if they've got any new stuff. Ah, this is what I was after, a little... I wonder if you get... No, I was going to say, me and Nathan want to do some like little cupcake, Halloween cupcakes, but it's literally just the, you know, bits and pieces. It's not the actual mix. So I look in Sainsbury's for that. Or uh, fancy a bite. <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. Pin the fangs on the Dracula. Be like pin the tail on the donkey, but with a vampire and fangs. Oh, no donkey. Enter of your own free will. <laughs> well, actually, it says enter at your own risk, but you know. Oh my, some witch legs. <laughs> some skeleton bits. Are you subscribed to my channel? No? Then please do. Okay, I will. They're big skulls, look at these, light up skulls. They're cute. <laughs> There's a cauldron with some witch legs sticking out. Just, you know, why not? And randomly in the middle of all the Halloween spooky stuff, there's mouse and rat repeller. I don't know what happened there. It's probably been put back in the wrong section. Um, enter if you dare. Right, now, is he gonna work? Sometimes I press these things, they don't work. I look an idiot. Right, I'm gonna put that down there for a second. Press here. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, works. <laughs> okay. Alright, sorry, Nathan, but I think I found someone else. 
<laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> oh my, look at him laying there with his legs open. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's really shocked, like, oh my god, what? I'm going to go from Halloween to Christmas. Lots of different, like, gift sets and stuff for gifts. A bit of Christmas bedding. Antler ring toss. <laughs> you could get a sprout whoopee cushion. Back to the Future stuff. Harry Potter. Super Mario! Here come the girls. Here come the girls. It's really sad. There's like a Pokemon right down the back there, right in the corner. Sweeties! Mood magic color changing LED lights. Right, let's go pay. Hope there's not a queue. Last time I was in it, oh my god, the queue is terrible. So I'm hoping it'll be quieter today. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, good. There is no queue. My friend, you're so long. I need, like, I must cut this today. It's driving me mad. Um, anyway, right, so got the Sally Hansen now stuff so hopefully that will help what is going on I'm gonna take my hair out of the hair band just let it loose for a bit I didn't really dry it that well this morning I just kind of let it dry naturally so it's still a bit damp um right so so <laughs> oh, I am gonna go and get a uh, drink now from Starbucks have a little sit down if it's not too busy if it's busy I'll just get a takeaway drink if it's not busy I'll sit in there wish I see uh, so yes I'm gonna do that and then uh, I've got my library books to take back because um, we got it out the other day and it's due back so yeah I need to take my library book back um, I'm not gonna look around the library I'm not gonna get any other books out I've got way too many books to read um, not good I'm very naughty with all my books. I'm a bookworm. I'm a book addict. What can you say? I suppose it's worse things that can be addicted to than books, right? But they're literally piling up everywhere. It's ridiculous. And as soon as I read one, I just get another two more. <laughs> so it doesn't really work. Either new ones or library books. or It's just books everywhere, basically. So, yeah. I'm going to take my library book back and not get any more out. No, no, no. Do not let me. Do not let me. I won't, I won't. Um, so yeah, it's gonna go and do that now. Have a little drinky in Starbucks. I hope it isn't busy and then I can actually sit down. There's my friend from Poundland, my favorite. Hello. I like her, she's my favorite staff member in Poundland. She's so lovely, really funny. Always have a, have a laugh with her and a chit chat. <sighs> so anyway. <laughs> Oh my, just walking past this, um, what is it? Hold on. Cookies and cones. Oh god, no, 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 no. I would literally put on a stone looking at them cookies. It's not having them, not having them. Um, right, so I'm just walking around to Starbucks now. I think I just said that, didn't I? Oh, I'm not with it. I'm not with it. I'm really tired still. Didn't sleep very well last night. I kept uh, itching my ankle I don't know if I had a little gnat bite because when we was at the park yesterday there were loads of gnats about and stuff so I don't know if it's a a gnat bite but oh just laying in bed like trying to scratch at my ankle constantly <laughs> I think I woke Nathan up as well a few times oopsie God, it's got very sunny all of a sudden all right Starbucks here we come I mean I could sit outside but I don't mind sitting outside, but then when the pigeons come along, I start freaking out. So that's why I'm better off indoors. <laughs> right, okay. Let's have a look. It seems a bit busy in here. Looks like I'm allowed in because it says dogs welcome. I say that every time. Uh, 
Okay, there's a little seat there. It's got a bit of mess on it, but I could sit there. Maybe over there as well, I don't know. There's someone sitting there, but maybe over there as well, I don't know. All right. Found a little corner seat. Okay. Asked for a medium and they've given this massive cup. It's huge, huge. Sorry, I'm squinting like this. <laughs> it's so sunny. Um, that was a lovely, lovely hot chocolate. Um, it's a bit embarrassing though. She's like, oh, sorry, we haven't got any uh, smaller mugs at the moment. I was like, okay. And ended up with this huge mug. It's gigantic. And I just felt like really embarrassed. I don't know, I felt like proper greedy. Like people were looking at me thinking, oh God, what a greedy cow of a big old hot chocolate mug. <laughs> But they weren't thinking anything to be fair like people probably didn't even look at me but it's paranoia right um but yeah it's very nice Oof. very nice and to be fair i paid for a smaller one but the girl was doing it was so sweet she kind of like filled not filled it right up but she filled it pretty much to the top so got me money's worth markets on behind me if you can see um it's the same stalls that's there every single week nothing particularly exciting um, and I've got to be careful with me sorry with my money so I'm not gonna look at the market stores um, but yeah I'm just heading now to the library to uh, take my book back and I need to use the loo as well so I might go oh toys and talk toys and talk should have a little look in here I'm not allowed to buy anything but I can have a little look hello mr. giraffe Just walk into library. I really need a wee. <laughs> Before I put my book back. I need a wee. Wee wee. Okay, so. Return something. Yes, please. This is what I'm returning. Secret City of South End. We thought it would be really exciting, but it was really boring. It was mainly about roads. It was going to be like this secret mysteries. But yeah, it's just about this road was here, there, and this road was here, then. Anyway, it's coming back. And it's got to go on the um, trolley. Okay, well, there we go. I'm not buying anything, by the way. Just having a little look around. I can still look at stuff. I'm just saying if there's any art on the wall, but there isn't. I am doing this art thing. Um, I don't know what it is, like an exhibition here at the library. Um, I've got this, and up above, you can see all these different colour lights. Hold on, let me show you. You can see all the different colour lights. So you have to put this sensor thing up to it and they get a different sound from each colour. Yeah, it's weird. I like it. Okay, so I've got headphones on. Ooh. It's weird. It's the pink one. Moving over to the blue. That's so weird. So when I'm onto the blue one, it's like laughing. This is red. Oh, that's weird. This is purple. It's clever. Let's wander around. Oh, that's horrible. Don't like that. It's a bit hard to film in here because it's dark. Oh. Oh, 
wish you could hear this, but you can't. That's weird. <laughs> I don't know if there's another bit in here. Oh, this is creepy, it's all dark. Oh, right, there's like a little film playing. It's very dark in here. I feel like I'm doing a ghost hunt. I don't like it. All on my own, look. <laughs> there's people in here, now they've all gone, and I'm just like. Arr. Out of it. <laughs> okay, so I just got in. I'm gonna have my salad in a moment, but I wanted to get a drink, so I've got my Dr. Pepper Zero. I've got obsessed with these lately, I love them. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have a salad, have a drink, then gonna go watch Ghost Adventures, the new episode. Um, Nathan's finished work now, he's having a little game until I am ready, and then we're gonna watch the show. Um, I was listening to Actually, I'm going to get another spoon. They do put like a little wooden spoon in, but I prefer having it off on a proper spoon, not wooden. Um, yeah, I was listening to my audio book on the way back, and I ended up DNFing it because it was just boring me so much. And the girl that was reading out the uh, story, her voice was so boring and draining, I couldn't bear it anymore. I got halfway through, I skipped it to the last chapter just to kind of see what happened, and... It was pretty much as depressing at the end as it was during it. So I was pleased that I didn't waste hours listening to that story. Um, so I've got a new audiobook from Audible that I'm listening to. I've started it. I've only heard like five minutes, but already it's more exciting. Um, and it's a prequel kind of retelling of Buffy the Vampire um, Spike, if you remember the main character. Well, one of the main characters. So, oh, he dropped my phone. Yeah, it's like um, him and Drusilla, I assume Buffy might be in it as well. I used to love Buffy, Vampire Slow, when I was younger. Um, so, yeah, I can't remember it's by, I think it was William something, William Ritter, Ritter, something like that. So, it's called Bloody Fool for Love, a Spike uh, novel prequel. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to have a different story with a little bit more excitement. And it's vampire based, and it, obviously it's October, so it's a good time to listen to some spooky stuff. My current actual book that i'm reading is about witches and the one i'm listening to is about vampires so i'm going all out for halloween reads um anyway i'm gonna have a bit of my cheese salad now so i'll see you in a bit oh that's a bit of a close-up isn't it close up um anyhow so yeah me and nathan are just about to watch ghost adventures so i'll tell you after the episode what it was like um it's set in an old theater so i think it's going to be very spooky 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 I completely forgot that we were getting a Iceland delivery today. <laughs> I was like, huh? So yeah, here is our kind of a mini one. Mini Iceland haul. We're fitting it in the vlog, not doing it separate. We have a mini delivery as well. Mini delivery. Yeah, we haven't got much stuff actually. No. Uh, three loaves of bread. These are really difficult to get. I'm going to leave one out to in the freezer. I don't know why. Warburton's wholemeal. Can't find it anywhere really. But Iceland have got it. So yes. That's good. Um, got. Croissants, bonjour. Uh, croissants. Bonjour, je m'appelle Laura, je habite à Six, j'adore. Oh yes, jambon. That's, I'm Laura That's from Essex and I adore West Ham. I appreciate that. So a bit of French there. So I just like, oh no, they're not. They're, what are they? Brioche rose Anus with chocolate. A punnet or elet. A brioche sliced roll. <laughs> You won't want to look at these bits. Oh, jeez. So well, I'm looking some, away from the camera. Some burgers. These are beef quarter pounders. We've also got two sirloin steaks. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. <laughs> but then we've also got the Big Daddy sirloin steak, which is ginormous. Oh, I can't look. You don't have to look Tell at them. Tell me not to look round again. And it's all hidden. Okay, thank you. Lovely. Dirty slices. Cheese, um, just like butter, so it's not butter, but it's just like just, it, just bloody like it. Oh, I like this great mozzarella, that's yours, but I'll no doubt have a little handful. Grated cheddar, veg fingers, is that two boxes? Yeah, two big boxes, 
big, 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 big big boxes of fish fingers too. Uh, garlic baguettes, garlic bread. Garlic. That's another pack. Oh, is it? Two packs of oh. two. Garlic baguette. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> Chocolate Santa's. Chocolate Santa, you got me one. No, you got, got one. one. So yeah. one each, two little Santa it looks chocolate. Quite, happy. quite hollow actually, yeah. which is good. Um yeah, it does look happy, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to get out more. Right, what have we got here? Hash browns. Oh I like hash browns. Oh do you? Mm. I like when you cook them but you don't put Not them in too, too long and crispy. Sort of soft. I like the fact that I'm taking all your food. Yeah. I like your cheese. I like. Yeah, your... all you've had so far is bread. Yeah. <laughs> That's because I don't sell my blooming um, bacon steak slices yeah. anymore. We have got the baby salad potatoes. Oh, can you do me a favour quickly? Yeah. One of my viewers commented the other day and asked from like another country and said, "What is a salad potato?" It's a small, firm <laughs> Why? potato. It doesn't go as fluffy as a jacket potato. Okay. It's quite firm. Yeah. You boil them and have them with salads. Cold. Cold. Well, you don't have, you have to cook them, obviously. You can't just eat take and go no. on yum, yum. But you have them cold. Yeah. They go okay. with salads. They're nice. Well, hold on. We've got two drinks here. <laughs> what are they? Water, strawberry and yes. raspberry. Um, oh, what's that? Pop-Tarts. Hot. Fudge Sunday, cool. That sounds nice. Mm. Oh, ignore my dirty looking mm. horrible now. So I'm gonna do them in a bit. Um, they look nice. Yeah, they do. Toaster. Cool. Look at that. That looks even nicer. That is a hot fudge Sunday, right there. We've got here. We've got some pizzas, fully loaded deep dish, mega meaty. I'm mega and I'm meaty. You are meaty. And you're mega. We got two of them. What we've we got here? What's that? Raw dough. Keep frozen. Carry flat. Don't know what that means. Uh, well, it, it, says that it means it's got raw dough in it. You've got to keep it frozen yeah. and carry it flat. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't understand this. No. Nah. It's magic. <laughs> it's witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> to go go down stuff crust takeaway loaded cheese pizza. So what has it got? Tomato sauce. sauce oh no. Crust, but cheesy, cheesy. No, I like but the cheese. Being cheesy. I mean, I like smart ketchup. Actually, we need to go to the shop later. Ketchup. Get ketchup because I didn't get it. Uh, we've got here loaded pepperoni. Also with that tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. I, as I say, I like tomato sauce, but I wouldn't want that inside. It's not I don't so cheese. much tomato sauce though. It's not like ketchup. It's got oh, the right. stuff underneath the pizza. Oh, uh, that's sort it's of tomato like pasty yeah. stuff. In. Like puree. Puree, that was the but one this I was one's the one you're after. after. Apart from the pepperoni, the crust loaded on this. Loaded crust, stuffed crust with cheese sauce. Look at that cheese sauce. Oh, yeah. cheesy sauce. I wouldn't mind trying that. When you're having that, you're not having it now, eh? <laughs> what do you mean I'm not having it now? Not this very second. Because no. that looks... I wouldn't mind trying that. I might have that tonight. I don't know. Yeah. Well, if you I'm do, undecided. I might have a bit of your crust. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it just took all my food. So they also. say. There's two more things at the oh, back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boom. The other side, because we couldn't fit them over there. We've got... How many is in here, Bob? 24. 24. <laughs> Dr. Pepper Zeros and Pepsi Max, which are mine. Both of them. I'm all of them. them. All. I'm taking them all. Oh, you can have a few. You don't really like them, do you? No, not particularly. I don't mind, but... Have you had Dr. Booker yeah. Zero? It's lovely. And Pepsi Max, obviously, ultimate favourite drink ever. So, yeah, these two have become my favourite <laughs> drinks. Um, have I got room in the fridge for them? Uh, no. Well, there's space for, like, one. No, but we've still got... Yeah, some down here. Look, all in the boxes from last time. So, I used them up first. Yes. Then put the um, new ones round here and then in the fridge. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, these are my glasses. They look a bit high. Nathan has tried really quickly to do it. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, they do look a bit high. They're not normally this high, are they? Yeah. What, are they? I haven't changed the height of them. No, like if this is, does it normally sit like that, that, that side? No, but it's because it's got the duct tape stuck to it. No, no, that's the normal side. Yeah, but the other side's raised because of that thing. That's maybe why it looks weird. Anyway, he's tried it quickly, but he's going to have another go tonight. He only done it really quick, so I wanted to watch TV, and I was like, can you just do them? So I put it on quick. But <laughs> um, yeah, obviously, uh, tonight he's going to have another go at just doing it a bit neater, a bit tidier, maybe. Try. 
<laughs> Just my luck, though. They're shut until yeah. next week. Yeah. He's open all the time, literally, every day at 10. Yeah, he's always there. Must have gone on holiday or something like that. I yeah, suppose they are entitled to a holiday during the year. Yeah, because they didn't know your glasses. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, I have got a spare pair, but my paranoia is if I wear them, You'll break them. I could break them and I'll have none. I know that's a stupid way of thinking, but I, that's how I think. Um, so it's, oh, it's really oh, it's stupid. It's uncomfortable. They're like... Uh, Weird, they just feel weird anyway. I'm gonna stop moaning. Um, so I'm gonna just do a few things now. I'm gonna do these scratch cards quickly. I've got the pound, they're only from Poundland, so they're a pound each. You've got bigger and better packs of extra cash prizes, and the heat wave bigger and better packs of extra prizes. So we will see. I'll let you know if I win. Um, so this is this one, so you can just see it. I think there's one, two, three, four chances to win here. And then you've got the heat wave, which you get three games there to win. So, yeah, let's get scratching. Also, I've got my uh, Sally Hansen stuff here. This is the Maximum Growth Multi Benefit Growth Treatment Help to Grow and Strengthen Nails. So, yeah, I'm going to take my nail polish off, which is here. Got some nail varnish remover. Uh, I'm trying to use this one up before I start another one and I've got um, a nail file which I'm going to use just to kind of tidy them up and then apply this I don't actually I don't know how many times like, do you have to do it oh hold on to use apply one coat to bare nails use alone or as a base coat it doesn't say how many times like, do you have to do it every day or do you just do it now and again or what I don't know I don't know oh well we'll put it on and maybe in a few days I'll do it again or something I don't know Right, anyway, let's get scratching. I had a winner. I had a winner. I won two pound. Yeah, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> I found flip flops. Flippy floppies. Flip flop. Two pound. So I've got to take that in. And uh, next time in Poundland, get two pound back or just two pound off whatever I'm buying in there. You know, me, I'll always buy something in Poundland. So that is that. Right, now it's time to do the nails. By the way, I completely forgot to say about Ghost Adventures. Um, I don't know. I didn't think that episode was that great, it to be honest. Great. Did you? It wasn't great. Let's that's, that's, that's put it that way. It wasn't great. Was yeah, it? it was a bit silly. I mean, that thing on his arm was weird. He felt a pain yeah. in his arm, and then when he pulled his t-shirt up, he had like a weird red bruisey mark thing on his yeah. arm. That was kind that of was creepy. Weird. Um, I got a few EVPs. Yeah. But none of the lights went off on the stage or anything no. like that, and. Uh, they didn't get as much as you'd want no. in a place like that. Yeah. An abandoned old theatre, you'd think that'd be like but no. loads, but not that much. So, sorry, I thought I'd update you because I said I would and I forgot. But I just remembered. <laughs> I looked up, I was like, what is that? Nathan's playing this game. Let me explain. What's it called? Um, Medieval Dynasty. Medieval Dynasty. And the pigs, he's got like this, you know, like farmy thing. And there's all different animals. And the pigs just had a baby. They had two. Two babies. Come here, baby. Twins. One, one's Pickle gone on an adventure already. He's, he's adventurous. He's still in bed. Aww. He's obviously out. out. He's, like, no. he's out, out. Out, out. So he's got said, pigs. We've got... Have you any babies? No, the geese haven't had babies. You fed them? They've all got loads of food. How about the donks? Uh, Donk. Donk. Everyone's having a sleep. Well, is it early in the morning? We've just all woke up. Yeah, but how do you know it's because they're not listening to my SMR channel? Because they won't be asleep then. <laughs> Chick. Chicken. Chick, chicks. Buck, bucks. Buck. To the buck. But nothing. No. Just, just the piggies. Okay. I thought I'd show you that, viewers, because it was cute. And this is, like, you've built all this from that scratch, basically. Yeah. The little huts and stuff, the people working. The it's very cool. Okay, goodbye day, goodbye, goodbye day, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. anyway, bye. Okay, so I'm going to have a little read now. I would really like to get this book finished. I've only got a little bit left, look, that's not much. So I'm going to get this one done and then straight on to the sequel, which is The Kiss Curse. Um, and this is a signed by the author copy, so... I'm not sure if I'm going to be putting these on eBay or keeping them, but I will probably put them on eBay because I need the money, being honest. Um, I mean, this one would have to be absolutely amazing for me to keep it.
But if it's just okay, then they'll both go on eBay. And I might even put them on together because someone might want one and two kind of thing. Um, and as I say, this one is signed. I'll show you the signature. I've put my nail stuff on, by the way, as you can see. It's very shiny. Um, and I did read the back and it said that it's a week. You should see difference in a week. So it's obviously put on once a week. There is the signature. Oh, this is pretty cool. Like the little card stuck on. With their Sterling signature. Yeah, that's pretty cool, that is. I like that. Um, so, yes, I'll finish this off. So, basically, it's about... Did I just read the back? It's probably easier. Never mix vodka and witchcraft. <laughs> it's very true. Um, okay, so it says, Vivian Jones handled the biggest breakup of her life the way that any witch would. Vodka, bubble baths, and a curse on her ex. That was nine years ago. Now, Reese Penhallo, descendant of the town's founders, breaker of hearts, and still irritatingly gorgeous, is back. Reese has returned to the quaint town of Graves Glen to recharge the ley lines and make an appearance at the annual fall festival. But when his every move results in calamity, Vivi, Vivi realises that Hex Dinner X might not have been so harmless after all. As the curse starts to affect the magic of the town, resulting in murderous wind-up toys, an outraged ghost, and a surprisingly talkative cat. That is funny. Um, there's the bit where the cat starts talking and all it says is, Treats! I want treats! Anyway, uh, Vivi and Reese must put their personal feelings aside and work together to break the curse and save not just the town, but also Reese's life. So, enemies to lovers, magic, family witchcraft like it's just really good fun is it one of the best books that i've ever read no <laughs> is it really really good fun and witchy yes so um i'm not sure at the moment if it'd be a four or five star so we'll have to see how the ending goes um but it is really really good and perfect for like october reads you know so um yeah i'm gonna get reading and uh as i say hopefully get this done and then start number two so dinner is cooking can see the steam rising i've got me vegetables in here i've got broccoli cauliflower and cabbage i do need some more veg though there's not much left now um but yeah i'm gonna have that with some mashed potato and some gravy nom 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 okay so i'm just waiting for my dinner um while i'm doing that i thought i would uh, do some youtube work and just put a video public put all the tags in links etc um, Nathan has uh, had another go at my glasses, as you can see. They definitely feel um, like they fit better now. They're not as loose, as you can see. Um, there's my little rainbow <laughs> duct tape. Oh. But yeah, um, what I was moaning about is that I can kind of see this out the corner of my eye, like rainbow, just stick it there. But... To be fair, they do fit, they feel better because they're not so loose. They're actually like, they feel like my actual glasses, if that makes sense. Like the way they're sitting and stuff feels tighter. Not as kind of like when he'd done it before, he'd done it really quickly when I come in. Um, and it was just more kind of baggy. And that's why they kept falling down. And I was like, oh, but I think they sit better now. They feel more like they usually do. But I just, it's this bit. I don't know what I'm seeing now. It must be there. Um don't know where I'm looking at it. I don't know if it's in there, inwards I'm seeing the colour or from here. But it can't be this bit because this bit's in front of the... Like, it's not in front of the glass anyway. It's only till it gets sorted and I'm just going to have to make do with it. Um, luckily, I don't wear them all day, every day. I just wear them when I'm reading, when I'm on the laptop, watching TV and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'm lucky that he's managed to put it back. And they do feel, as I say, they do feel more stronger like that like they feel like they're not going to just drop down my nose all the time so that's a good thing but yeah um so yeah i'm gonna have my dinner do some youtube work i've got my book here i started the uh second book in the series the kiss curse by erin sterling it's so good i'm loving it so much and i finished obviously number one i ended up giving number one Five stars. Um, I was tempted to give it a four because there were parts which were really cringy, but I kind of enjoyed that cringe and it was a nice ending and I loved the characters and it was fun. It made me laugh and it was sweet and romantic and I just really liked it. So I went for a five star. So well done to that book. Um, and I think this one's going to be just as good, if not better, because I, I like the character of Gwen from the first book. So this book is based on Gwen, who is uh, Vivi's um, like the main character's cousin. 
Um, so the fact that she's going to be like the main in this one, I think is going to be even better. So yeah, I'm looking forward to kind of get into it tonight. Um, and then just, yeah, chill. We're watching a bit of TV at the moment as well. Hopefully my dinner shouldn't be too long because I am hungry. So I'm going to eat that. And yeah, that is that. So I'm going to end the vlog now. Thank you for watching. Please click like, comment, share, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Check out Minx Laura 123 ASMR Mother YouTube channel. That would be fantastic if you did that. Um, and also all my social media links down below. So Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Goodreads. And I do have a throwing wish list if you'd like to spoil me and treat me. The link is down below to that as well. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to get on with this now. So I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. <laughs>